guys, welcome back to my channel, Sherry from Read. Today I'll be doing my TBR for two readathons plus just August in general. So, anyways, let's just get right into it. So there are two readathons that I want to participate in the month of August, and both of them last throughout the entire month of August. The first one is the Magical Readathon, and this one is Newts, and this is kind of a continuation of the Owls that ran, I want to say like March or April. And honestly, I didn't actually even fulfill all of the prompts. I think I only did two out of the four, but I'm just like, whatever. I'm going to continue with it. I don't care. I'm not going to play by the rules here, okay? And the only real rule for this readathon is that you can't double or triple up, so each prompt means only one book. So similar to Owls, I'm going to continue with my wizard career, and I picked the Mage Zoologist. I hope that's how you pronounce it. And that one says that you need to have an O for a care of magical creatures, you need an E in charms, and you get an E in herbology. So it's not too bad, I think. And again, I will include all the information for the Magical Readathon down below for you guys to check it out. So the O in care of magical creatures means I need to get an A, an E, and an O. So I need to fulfill three books, actually, to actually fulfill this entire prompt or course, I guess. So for A, the first level, the reading challenge is to read a book title that starts with the letter A. And for this one, she did say that you can actually include just the letter A, so A something, and it totally works. So for this one, I'm actually going to continue with this lovely series, and that is A Court of Mist and Fury, as well as A Court of Wings and Ruin. I just finished the first book, I want to say two days ago, and it is so good. Like, I was just itching to pick up this one, so obviously I was like, I need to somehow include these, and of course, a court and a court here, they totally fit, and honestly, I'm only picking up one, but like, we all know I'm going to finish both of these books, so I'm just going to include both of them in this challenge. So for those who don't know, the first book is kind of a loose retelling of Beauty and the Beast, and of course there are fairies involved, and it was just so good. Like, it was a lot of romance, a lot of adventure, just a lot of trials that she had to go through, and it was absolutely amazing and yeah i cannot wait to finish the rest of the series then for e i would need to read a book under 300 pages for this one i'm going to go with a graphic novel and that is black mage by daniel barnes and dj kirkland i got this during ba and i figured i should actually probably up my graphic novel and mangas just because they're actually really good for readathons and i always just pick with my regular books and that's usually how I fail. So I figured this time I'll actually pick up some graphic novels and it'll hopefully help me. And this one's basically about Harry Potter, but it's supposed to be a black Harry Potter version and it's kind of all I know, but it sounds good. A lot of people seem to really enjoy it, so I'm very excited for this one. And this is actually an arc, so it doesn't come out until October 2019. Then finally, the last one for Care of Magical Creatures, and that is O. And the challenge for that one is to read a book with a bird on the cover. For this one, I'm going to go with Bloodleaf by Crystal Smith. This one has been on my TBR for the longest time. And there is a little bird right here for those who can't tell. I'll put an image here or something like that so you guys can see. But there's a little bird right here, so I figured it would be perfect for the challenge. So this book is about Princess Carrelia, where some Something happens, there was an attempted assassination, and she ends up deciding to flee her kingdom because I think some of her other options are just not appealing to her. So she ends up fleeing her kingdom and disguises herself and lives as a commoner. And she ends up falling in love with this guy who's forbidden to rule next to her. And I believe that her betrothed, um, which is one of her, her options that she didn't want to go to, somehow ends up coming her way as a commoner. And I guess the two of them are trying to fight for her attention. I don't really remember too much about the story, but I've heard some positive things so I'm very excited for this one. So those were my three exams that I need to fulfill to actually get an O for a care of magical creatures. The next one is E in charms. So for the first challenge to get an A that is to read a book with a gorgeous cover. So I'm going to pick up The Missing of Claire de Lune by Christelle Davos. This one is book two of the Mirror Visitor Quartet and I read the first one last month it was so good it's so complex it's very multi-layered I love the characters I just love the world that she created and it's just so many magical elements to it and there's so many political intrigue and it was just a really fabulous book and of course I was like I need to dive into this one as soon as possible so I'm going to put this as a beautiful cover because I feel like it's pretty beautiful so this is the book. So this book is about a girl called Ophelia who lives in her own arc uh, and her arc is the anima arc so everyone in her arc can somehow manipulate objects and they can kind of tame objects and her ability is that she can walk through mirrors as well as read an object when she touches it and so she ends up somehow getting engaged with this other guy from a very far away arc and that arc is just so cold it's very devastating it's very different compared to hers and just so many things just happen from there there's also their own magical system going on in that arc as well and it's very very different like her world 
girl that she stumbled upon is just vastly different compared to the one that she grew up in and yeah like it was just such, such a good book guys so anyways this is the book that i would definitely pick up for this month then the next challenge you get an e that is to read a comic slash graphic novel slash manga or just a book under 150 pages so this one again i'm going to do a graphic novel and that is little witches by Lei Dragoon. This one's supposed to be kind of like Little Woman, but they're all witches, and this book sounds really cute. And I'm loving the artwork as well. This is also an art that I picked up during BEA, and it comes out sometime in August 2019, so actually I will be able to read it right when it comes out. Then the last exam really that I need to take is to get an E in Herbology. So for A, the first challenge is to listen to an audiobook or read a book with a green cover. So for this one, I actually had two books that I was kind of contending with for a little bit, but this one just came in through Libby and I figured this would be the perfect time for me to just pick it up right at the beginning of August so I can just get that over with. And that book is again, but better. And honestly, like I don't really know too much about this book to be honest. It's a contemporary romance. It follows a girl. I believe that something happens to her during college. She decides to escape, do a gap year or a study abroad or something like that in the UK and this all that stuff kind of just happens from there I've heard really mixed reviews about this book to be honest so yeah I guess I'll just find out and see if I like it or not but right now I am on a contemporary kick so I feel like maybe there's a better chance of me liking it as opposed to when I'm not really in the mood for contemporary then the last challenge for me to fulfill my requirements to become a major 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 zoologist gosh I can never say that word, is to read a book between 350 and 390 pages. So for this one I'm going to go with The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. I have heard so many good things. I was supposed to pick this up during the book Junkie Trials and didn't happen at all guys. So this one has 369 pages according to the art copy so this one definitely fulfills that challenge. So this book I believe follows three main characters. One is Fi who is the future chieftain of the Crow cast. And then there is Crown Prince Jasmine who decides to fake his own death. And then there is Taven or Tavin, who is, I believe, his his like body double in a way, like the Crown Prince's body double. And it's really like romance. I don't really know too much about it, but I've heard so many good things about it, so I'm very excited for it. So basically, these are all the books that I'll be reading during the Magical Readathon for Newts to fulfill my requirements to become a major, major zoologist, plus my audiobook. And yeah, like I don't think it's too bad. I have two graphic novels here, so I feel like it's kind of doable. We'll see, especially since it's the entire month of August. So the next readathon that I'm going to participate in for the entire month of August is Mythathon, and this one again runs the entire month of August, and I'll include all the information down below. So I believe there are four teams, and I decided to go with Team Water, which is also Apollo's team, just because the group book was also one that I wanted to read, so I figured it would just make sense for me to be part of this team. And plus, of course, Tom is actually in charge of this team, so I was like, all right, I will support this. So there are five challenges for this readathon. So just by the way, this entire reading challenge for Team Apollo is all revolving around Apollo. So first one is The God of Music. Read a book of a musician, a main character, or where music deeply influences the story. So for this one, I'm going to pick up Our Year of Maybe, by Rachel Lynn Solomon. I've had this book for I want to say the longest time actually and it follows two characters Sophie and Peter and Peter's a gifted pianist so of course I was like that definitely fulfills this challenge. Then the next challenge is Apollo was attracted to multiple genders. Read a book with a pansexual slash bisexual male character. So again for this one I'm gonna go with Our Year of Maybe because I believe from what someone had mentioned on Goodreads that Peter comes out as bisexual very early on so that definitely fulfills this challenge as well. Then the next challenge is Apollo is a twin. Read a book with twin protagonists or a powerful sibling bond. For this one, I'm going to go with Kingsbane by Claire Legrand. I was supposed to also pick this up during the book Junkie Trials. Did not happen, but this is a chunker. And the reason why I pick up this book is because one of the characters, Ileana, she has a younger brother called Remy, and their bond together is very strong. I just love their sibling relationship, and so I feel like that definitely fulfills this challenge. So for those who don't know, this whole story, the first book really follows the fact that there is this love Legend about the Sun Queen and the Blood Queen. It follows two perspectives, Ileana and Riel. And Riel, a thousand years prior, somehow revealed the fact that she actually has control or can master all of the elements. And so she ends up going on this trial to prove to everyone that she's actually the Sun Queen because the Sun Queen is the one that will save everyone instead of the Blood Queen, which is the legend that the Blood Queen will destroy everyone. So she ends up going on this magical trial. So the first book kind of follows her perspective as she goes along that trial. And then on the other side follows Ileana, who is a thousand years later. And her life kind of follows what happened after all that. But at this point, she does not believe anything about the Sun Queen, Blood Queen legend. She thinks the whole thing is a fairy tale. So the whole book kind of follows her perspective and Riel's perspective spanning over a thousand years and it was just 
so captivating. There's just so many elements of that is so intriguing and I was very excited to pick up this one as soon as possible. Then the fourth challenge, Apollo is credited as the god of healing and diseases. Read a book where the main character is battling an illness. This one, once again, I'm going to pick up our year maybe because Peter, the main character, is actually, I don't know what he's battling, but he's been on the kidney transplant list for the longest time. So he must be battling some form of illness, obviously, for him to be on that list in the first place. So this book follows a girl called Sophie and Peter and they've been friends for the longest time. Sophie actually has some sort of feelings for Peter. So when she finds out that she's actually a match for his kitty, she decides to donate for him. And the thing is, she thinks that maybe after she donates to him, he will love her back. And after his surgery operation, things don't happen the way how she expected. Things for Peter turned out very differently. And so this book is just kind of all about that. And I heard it's really beautiful. It's really kind of a maybe a tearjerker perhaps but yeah this is a book and the last and final challenge is to read a group book and that is of course our year of maybe guys so this one's actually a really easy challenge because i'm only doing two books for this challenge because i decided to just kind of put it easy for one of the ray readathons instead of going too crazy especially because my magical readathon has a lot of books and they're all kind of chunky books to be honest so i am going to read this book and this one basically fulfill most of my challenges except for the sibling one because i don't think this one has anything about siblings in here so i was unable to fulfill that prompt otherwise i would have to be honest so yeah i'm going to pick up this book and kingsbane for this readathon so basically those are all the books that i'm planning to read for the readathons that i'm participating in and of course as typical of my style i just decided to pick up a few more books on the side because some of them, though one of them I know is actually supposed to be for a blog tour that's actually happening in the beginning of August so I was like I need to read this as soon as possible and also because some of these books are arcs that I actually requested and I need to get on to reading them. So the first one is To Best the Boys by Mary Weber. This one actually came out back in March and I am so behind. So this book follows a girl called Ren who I guess in this society they don't really have much prospects for their lives. They could only train in wifely duties, but men can actually pursue college education. And the thing is that she wants nothing more than to be a scientist. And every year there is some sort of competition with this maze going on. And whoever wins can actually win an esteemed scholarship to the all-male Stenwick University. So she decides to don on a costume, a disguise, and participate in this competition. And I don't know, I've heard some mixed reviews about this as well. Like I've heard it's really good, but also heard that the maze element isn't actually a huge part of this book even though I was under the impression that it was but maybe knowing that will actually allow me to better appreciate this book and like this book more so and this is the first book that I really want to pick up sometime this month. Then the next book that I want to pick up is The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. This one is also on my TBR for the longest time and I am so excited for it. This was also to be for the book Junkie Trials, but I ended up deciding to pick up a different book that was actually related to C because I heard that this one actually has nothing to do with C even though I had picked it for the C because I was like, the tropical kingdom that must be surrounded by water so something must happen where they're by C. Apparently that's not the case. My friend texted me, she was like, you're so wrong. Nothing in this book has something to do with the sea. So I was like, okay then. So this book is about a tropical kingdom called Rodare where elemental crows are basically a very essential part of their lives. One day something happens and the Eleucian Empire evades and basically destroys and takes everything. So one of the princes falls under a deep depression and the other princes is busy running the kingdom after their mother's death. One day when the prince is actually forced to an arranged marriage with the prince of Eleucian, which is the empire that destroyed them, and so they end up finding this hidden crow egg, and I guess something spurs them on to actually try to gain everything back. And I don't know, I've heard some amazing things about this book, and this book also has been on my TBR for the longest time. And this one came out in July actually, so I should probably read this as soon as possible. Then the next book that I want to pick up is actually for the blog tour and that is Not Our Kind by Kitty Zeldis. This book is set in post-war New York City and it kind of follows two women about how their lives change after they meet each other and I've heard some good things about this book so I'm pretty excited for it and that's kind of all I know about it and it's a historical fiction obviously and yeah. I like the cover as well, to be honest. Next, I want to read The Bone Charmer by Brianna Shields. This has also been on my TBR for the longest time. This one came at the end of May, so it's been a while now. And all I know is that this book is follows about bone reading. And it follows a girl called Saskia who does not want to become a bone reader like her mother, but on the day of her kenning, which apparently is a special bone reading that determines the apprenticeship of all 17-year-olds, she receives an assignment to train 
as a bone charmer, just like her mother. She ends up getting into an argument with her mother and her future literally splits into two. One where she is forced to confront her magic and the other one where she tries to run away from it. So I guess this one also has some sort of magical realism in the sense that she's literally following two separate parallel paths with each other and this kind of sounds similar to this other book that I picked up recently but that was more of like a thriller aspect so anyway this one sounds really good I'm really excited. Then the last and final book that I'm picking up this month is The Tiger Queen by Annie Sullivan. This is the only arc where I'm actually on top of it because this one doesn't come out until September 10th 2019 so I would definitely be able to pick this up before the publication date which is amazing and this one's supposed to be a retelling of Frank Stockton's famous short story The Lady or the Tiger and I love my retelling so of course I was very excited for this one so definitely want to pick this up as soon as possible. So anyways those are all the books I'm planning to read for the month of August it's kind of a lofty goal but I do have two graphic novels and I feel like that's kind of a redeeming factor because I can literally read both of them in maybe an hour max so that would definitely help I feel like so yeah so anyways let me know down below if you have read any of the books I mentioned here if there's any books that you want to read let me know as well but as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe down below don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and I'll see you guys next time bye